Frederic Gastel. Frederic, uh, first, can you give us an idea of just how groundbreaking this mission is and what maybe people there at those control headquarters have been telling you? Uh, here, it's a big excitement and big joy because finally this uh, huge and most ambitious program ever launched by Europe to study the sun has worked and has been launched safely, which is always a critical moment. So all the teams are taking over now. The mission control of the European Space Agency is taking control of the spacecraft, which is speeding at 22,000 kilometers per hour towards Venus and then the sun. And it will stay, as you said, about 10 years to study the sun, because after eight years of studies, the sun is still a big mystery uh, with all its mechanism, which are not understandable by the physicists. So they have to study with this 10 instrument and this investment of 1. billion euros, how the sun is working. Indeed, if I, if I understand correctly, this orbiter is going to go closer to the sun than ever before, though still, I believe, 26 million miles away. It, it's going to take pictures of the poles and bring back information on that solar wind, the particles around it that, you know, I believe are responsible for the northern lights. Can, can you give me a, a, a better idea of what exactly they'll be looking for and hoping to glean and how that might impact uh, our life here on Earth? Alors, solar wind is a, is a big issue to be studied, among other things because the solar winds is going all through the solar system. All the planets are within this, this wind. But sometimes this solar wind has some very dynamical events and uh, they can disrupt our uh, power grids, our satellites, our pipelines on Earth. So it's a very important thing to understand, not only for fundamental solar physics, but for our daily life and our very sophisticated technology. So they want to understand better and in a few years perhaps to forecast what they call space weather, which represents for the insurance companies, for example, billions of euros for our infrastructure from computers to internet to satellite to even the health of our astronauts in space. Fascinating space weather. And Mr. Gastel, just before I leave you, I believe the mission is going to take, uh, you know, almost a decade. We have, of course, had that successful blast off. Are there other, you know, delicate parts on this mission before we'll know whether or not it's going to be successful? Of course, in the next few months, they have to activate all the instruments and to make them work perfectly. But that's for sure the, e the easier part of the mission. Then they start right away. In a, few, in a few months, it starts to measure while it's getting close to the sun. It's measuring and working, that's very important, with the NASA Parker Solar Probe, which is even closer to the sun, and the two spacecraft will work totally in tandem and the European uh, Solar Orbiter will have six telescopes to see a little bit better the solar poles, which is totally new and unique to understand the solar mechanism. Fascinating stuff, Mr. Frederick Gestel. Thanks so much for joining us live and giving us better insight into what's happening there. Scientific journalist Frederick Gestel, there.